What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I'm back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. So, to round off from last time, um, we did some slugging out with the Ottomans, but critically, and more, much more importantly, we have landed a few stacks that I had knocking around in the Balkans, so they have punched into the soft underbelly of the um, Prussian and Ottoman empires, and I've created a bit of a threat on their western and southern flanks which they have to respond to, and it looks like I'm going to have, if I bring this single navy back, which I can do, now I have command of the sea, let's bring them back, okay now so you, let's do some army building, how many more fusiliers can we recruit? Probably none is the answer to that. No fusiliers, so here have a... <laughs> have a bunch of line. And let's get some... Two units of engineers as your elites. Good, let's get you kicking. You are off all the way up there. Fine. Um, might just make this army go and try all to resolve fight this one. Can you take two units of marines? No, but you will have... You'll take one unit of marines, may as well use them. You will may as well go up here, towards the city. Okay, so you have loads of line, Sir. you are some units of line, you are a mixture of line, and okay, so I'm going to move these guys to the rear. The so if they do fancy going, for, this army does fancy going for Madrid, they'll go straight for it, in which case then lots of these armies will come in for reinforcement. These guys will stay here, and replenish. These guys will act as a bit of a blocker force for them, in case they move. So what are you waiting on? Two units of cavalry and you're finished. Yes, sir. You're probably running on a bunch of line yes. infantry. You have nothing to do, so let's see if... Sir. If I just fold you into this ready, army. Ready. You're also recruiting a bunch of line infantry. But you could probably do with... Okay, I wish I could move these around a lot easier. You could, to be honest, probably just do with uh, two units of you, and then two more units of heavy howitzers instead of you. Ready. You'll be finished. One turn, you'll be finished. You'll be finished soon. Good. Yes, I would like more. Okay, so over, and then over here, I've got. Big army of not much variation, but that doesn't matter. Anything more? I've done a completely. Well, no, I haven't done completely the wrong thing. It's given me another unit of howitzers. Let's embark these aboard. And you guys wait for now. Let's get a recruitment of another of another fleet. Maybe in quite a not a not quite such expensive fleet. To just sit here and hug the gap of Gibraltar. Sweet. So yes, it'd be interesting to see how the the Prussians respond to this. So I've got currently four fortifications being built in Croatia, fortifications being built in Sarajevo. Um, I'm pushing up in the Greek territories, and let's build a. Some lances in Greek islands. Still making buckets of money. Oh yes, and I forgot now the uh, the map, the uh, the Persians are after me as well. But that's why I now have three stacks. I can, if I can capture Baghdad, maybe do I start? Oh, I am recruiting another one. Good. Yeah, and kind of let the Prussians do what they do. Um, right now, the more important thing is to... Am I converting France at all? Nope. 
But right now, the most important thing to do is to open up new flanks against the Prussians. Like, if we can mop up here and take a big bite out of Ottoman territory, that'd be great. Magdeburg is being destroyed. Good, because these are the only these are the last two things in the tech tree I can actually research. No, there's one there. Mass production. Fair enough. Right, let's hit end turn. So let's see the response. I definitely am going to recruit an army to go knock out the uh, knock out the the Danish, just to knock another faction out of the end. Or maybe that might be where that Portuguese army goes, because the armies in, I'm recruiting in England are going to be much stronger and more elite armies, and that's kind of what I need more so in Europe rather than the more not one trick ponies exactly but if it, just a stack of line infantry i'm going to be fighting against um grenadiers marines guards line infantry i'd rather have um some sturdier armies there in place yeah by those way they've done a lot of replenishment and they've brought all those back online carry on raiding away around my German territories. I don't expect them to make me money even though I suspect they still are. Um, they're just there to have more of a dint in your front lines so you have to have some people yeah, feel free to raid away in northern France. Because while they make their minor shuffles here in Europe the power play Enemy fleet ahead. Ooh. I think I'd definitely go for it because I think I can if I if I can win obviously this isn't the main threat the threat is these reinforcing armies but these will be coming in individually one by one and they don't get them water battery I think I'm gonna fight I think I'm gonna fight it if I hold and just let my artillery do the work should be grand erode a significant um things will be well, I might even might even be able to push them all the way out of um, is that is that Flanders? Pretty sure that's Flanders. If I beat them and they all fall back away from Flanders, I could capture Flanders, and that would be pretty good. Push their push their front line, which isn't necessarily a uh, big deal. Okay, so I'm pretty sure they're going to come from more over there. So this front army. So really, I want to position. Maybe a stack of guns that way. Then build up my line of my battle line here. That's the guns I deployed. These are the sp not spares exactly. Well, to be honest, they could do be a lot better there. I think. So let's take this unit of five line. Spread them out more around here. Let's do this funny deployment thing again. And knock you forward a bit. Then I have my longer line deploy out here. With you. Both my howitzers pointing in this direction. Oh, I can deploy. Okay, I might. So, what I might do. Because I forgot about my other unit of cannons. Let's knock you back. Deploy both my sets of guns pointing this direction. I think is the more prudent choice. And it might even be to deploy these using um, cavalry spikes, because I don't think it'll be... Infantry won't be the main problem. Coming from this direction, it'll be their cavalry that causes the major upset. So then let's use... You sit here and deploy a mine. And a long rifleman to deploy... Maybe a cavalry stake here. 
Oh, maybe just one out way out front. So if they go straight for my guns, they'll hit it, but maybe not enough to block my gun's line of sight. Keep my cavalry out on the right. Get my general out here too. Get my long riflemen ready. Yep, they're all ready. Good. Okay, so let's get... These guys really aren't the threat. As much as they want to try shoot it. Uh, ooh, what range have I got on shrapnel or shot? Enough. There's lots of cavalry entering the field. Quick climb's a bit trickier, so percussive shells with my howitzers. Nope, just bog all around shot. I don't want to lose my cavalry yet, because they've got lots and lots of it on the field. Let's run my light infantry back, because they'll be obvious targets. Shrapnel shot range. One for the general's bodyguard, one for the shooters of horse guards, guard the core. Maybe both the general's bodyguard. Okay, they've wheeled her off. You aim at the Swiss line, you aim for Regiment of Horse. And deploy them, use my line infantry to deploy stakes if they try to go for a cheap flank. Okay, so let's get you on quick climb target regiments of foot. Nope, can't target that regiment, so. I go for you. Put a unit of line infantry back here is a bit of a meat shield. So who have they got over here protecting this artillery? The whole bunch of light cavalry. So let's bring my lancers over. Let's get my guns firing round shot, get them firing on the distant targets. Maybe one of them blast with canister. Okay, K 
cavalry go straight up and take up the tuning of three pound horse artillery, then move up as and when seems fit. One for you, one go for this six pounder. ready to fight this cavalry unit. Charge into them as we are lancers. Hit that unit of cavalry before wheeling right to join the fight. So I think I'm probably going to lose the cavalry fight, uh, mainly because I've not got enough of it. Let's try to pull back to my own lines, so where my superior, where my superior firepower can help. Cavalry for now. Spear into this fight to free up my other my other unit of cavalry. Come on, focus on beat this cavalry. Spin around and hit the general's bodyguard. General's bodyguard, General's dead already. Pull you guys back. You've killed a general and knocked out two units of enemy artillery. You've done a good job. Let's keep you alive. Don't throw you away just yet. Even better if they follow you without. Um, properly supporting you. Straight into them. Protect the gun crews as much as possible. Oh, one unit of artillery cover has got left out on the snow. It's a second general. Is that a third general killed? I lose my set of guns, but I've got a feel that feeling they're gonna lose more artillery than I will. If 
they are getting their artillery within range of my artillery. Curassiers, no way. Bring my cavalry back. Get one unit of howitzers to focus on the Shinya of Horse Guards. You keep hitting that unit of horse artillery. Slowly taking its toll on me, the enemy artillery. It's picking apart all of my line infantry units quite comprehensively. So much so that my general's going to get involved. Good, you get back out of there. Light infantry, line infantry. Not ideal. Yeah, my general's, general's well within range to hit, on, to hit them. These cuirassiers are coming back. But now we have the advantage in numbers. They are heavy cavalry though, so... Good, make them waver. Make them route. Good, straight into that unit. Howitzers firing like mad ones. General. Ah, oh, quick limb shell. That looks like to me. Good. Crusier guards. Annihilated. General. Straight into this unit, I suppose. A lot of micro. Like these lancers are hunting for him. Same as Royal Prussian Cuirassiers. But I think it's a risk worth taking, because right now they are picking me apart. Climb. Maybe charge straight through onto those howitzers. Could well lose my general for this, but I think if I can get the amount of troops they've, they'll have caused to have routed by then. I think they're definitely done for. Goodbye, my general. No? Please be, can you be killed by your own spikes? No, sadly not. Good, go on to them. Flee, mon general. No, wait. Well, 
don't see why bother. It's just got absolutely clattered. Are you reinforcements? You are reinforcements. So flee over here. Out of range of the field of fire. Strain to them perhaps? The death throws on my Lancer Guard. Yeah, very fair. You guys have done the absolute business at the minute. These guys aren't even firing. Good, another unit of broken artillery. May end up having to bring the fight to them. Focus my quick fire, quick lime on units entering the field that are more or less full strength. I want to save this for them, really. Lifeguard. Lancers, good. Let's bring them up. Let's go hit this unit of artillery that's gone back to its old ways. Eviscerated that unit of infantry. You go for that brand new unit of artillery. You cut down the old. Sharpshooters are coming in, but they shouldn't be much of a problem. You might get they might get a volley off before uh, before they hit. Okay, 
to hit these lines rapidly. Yeah, knew that was going to happen. A nice little volley into my cavalry. Which is how they get the advantage, which is how you get the advantage at the end of the day. Fair enough, infantry to route. You have not been given much support. But they've knocked out quite a few sets of artillery, which is very important. Have destroyed the unit militia, it sure has. Long riflemen move up and target this unit of. Get over the crest of this hill, target that artillery battery. You move up here in support. Oh, the guns are going straight through. Calm yourselves, how it says. Good, so what I'm actually going to do then is have these guys sit there effectively in just in constant square formation. You, good, you're having good luck against them. The artillery is killing me. Here come the reserves. Stop being all weird. Quickly, I'm onto the militia. As they're all clustered up, it should be quite a nice job. Militia, line infantry, okay. Pull you guys back. If possible, I'd like to get my riflemen to deploy um, to deploy their stakes. up our lines. Long riflemen deploy stakes. Let's get an artillery unit to hit this Prussian Jäger unit. Cuirassier guards have the potential to blow a hole right through my line.
you fire your canister shot or fire your shrapnel shot along this line. Fresh units. Oh, that was a devastating shrapnel shot. Focus your fire now on the Prussian Jaegers. Both my units of howitzers hit them. Well, no, actually, one of them, they more or less have to kind of focus on hitting whatever looks big and scary back here. Sharpshooters. Deploy to reinforce the line. If Swiss Jaegers hit them, Fair not lads, you've got your you've got another general here. Okay, you now you're behind the line, switch to round shot, focus fire, artillery back here. Oh, that should have been a good shot. Good, good, good. Fire. Also, stacking them up this thick, actually, current for now, conserves uh, ammunition. To be fair, that unit was always asking to break. Form square on the flank. Form square in your little block. Like a little hedgehog. Has everyone still got ammunition? Oh, 
Let's get some of this artillery firing. Good. Go on, hit them. Oh, the unit behind it, mostly. No, nope, you did get them too. You guys need to get ready to slam into square. And then you guys just need to. have no ammunition so charge in I suppose whoever you choose to shoot at demolish them Could be the Dragoons, could be literally anyone. Starting to break. General in. Run up my dragoons. General's dead, which is cool. Who here doesn't have any ammunition? You're about to run out. Support that line infantry unit that's in the battle. Generally, when you win a fight, how to fight against light horse is to. Uh... Well, there we go. Pressure curiosity of guards. Are they? Oh, they're. They're like dragoons. Broken. Let's get my long riflemen and my light infantry in a position to shoot at those units. Let's get out of here. Jagoons straight in. Full unit of full strength Jagoons. And they hate it. <laughs> straight in. They've had enough. Let's fold these guys back.
You guys hold position. Furline infantry, you fall back. Yeah, this artillery isn't going to matter so much. Let's reform my cavalry block. Good. Turn off combat, let my guys shoot at their guys. We just get stuck in. Let's engage these guys in combat. Some Lancers can get in. Charge the militia, I suppose. Same with you. I should be able to deal with them. These other lancers are going to swing into the militia. Well, the militia. the militia you may as well just engage I've got cavalry on the roll now Whew, this has been a bloody bloody battle oh god where's the artillery coming from you Should be everybody. Phew. Holy moly. Heroic victory seems fairly pyrrhic and impressive. So they lost a lot of men, but so did I. Just goes to show what modern artillery can do. Balthazar Hirsch, you fall back, you fall back, you fall back. The garrison fall back. Could try and take Flanders, but I do not have the strength. No way. Although not, I'm in the better position, opportunity to intercept. No, let them raid. Because I'm a bit battle fatigued after that one. Hoo wee. Okay, let the Ottomans be the Ottomans. They've got a lot more to worry about now. That's not going to be a fun nut to crack, I tell you. I think any one of my settlements is uh, fixed. Opportunity to intercept. No, I want to replenish. Let's 
You're offering me military access. You want it indefinitely. And 15 grand for the privilege? I don't think so, Poland. No way, Jose. Not to man mention... I don't think there's anywhere that you need me to go. So you don't need me don't need me to attack the Prussians, you don't need me to attack the Russians. You don't need me to attack the Swedes. Oh good. Russia finally on the move. About time. So we're going to let them come towards the city, the Mamelukes. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. So I'm going to let them come towards the settlement because it's 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 prepared. These this guy is going to move here to head them off and to uh, wrap wrap up these guys once they make the attack because so they just have. Yeah, you got howitzers and stuff, but I don't think they'll do, do much, too much damage. No more colonial light. Phew, right. So here, this army here under Charles. Phew, thought it had all crashed for a minute. So you are replenishing. Good. Oh, well, to be honest, what I might do. Hmm. So. Depends if they'll let me. If I can merge like units together, like these two, to create an almost full strength for Chevron unit. Nah, they did not let me. They have forced me to intercept, but no matter, because the first reinforcing army is the full strength one from somewhere? You, maybe? Where's it getting that full strength garrison? Because that's obviously this knackered one. This is the one in the city, but it's got the knackered flag. Hmm. Either way, it looks like this is going to be the start of the next part. Because now you my timer, I've overrun by quite a lot. So, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you during the next part, where we will push... No, yeah, but we will storm up and take this uh, Egyptian stuff. <laughs> see you guys.